So earlier in the show, we talked with Kyle Petty about his new show, Dinner Drive with Kyle Petty. Now this combines our love of food and cars. Pretty good there. Sounds awesome, doesn't it? Each episode features a different celebrity and they talk about their favorite sentimental car. It may not be the most expensive, but something that means something to them. And they even take Kyle to their favorite eatery. It gives you a real look into the person behind the name. I spoke with Kyle about some of his favorite moments from the show. You gotta put that window down. You gotta let some of that good Miami heat. So tell me about um, how the show works. Now you're going out with people in not only in sports world but entertainment world, right? And kind of picking their brain about cars. Yeah, we we tried to divide it up. You know, obviously motorsports was was low hanging fruit. So I did, uh, you know, my dad uh, Mario Andretti did Dale Jr. first because he's a little bit of a neighbor, and I knew if we messed up on the first production, we'd be able to go back and do it again. He'd let us do it again. Um, but we did, you know, Darius Rucker, uh, did Pitbull, did Ric Flair, did Herschel Walker. Uh, so I tried to do sports, entertainment, and, and some motorsports. And, um, you know, basically we sat down, Dale Jr.'s first, his most favorite car was an 88 Chevy S10 pickup. Uh, he drove it to high school. He used to go eat pizza in it, and lay out, watch the airplanes land, and watch the stars. Got his first kiss in it, that kind of thing. And then we just talk about Dale Jr.'s career, his life, being married now, having two children, how that's changed him. The home that you live in now has like more love in it, right? Darius Rucker, how Charleston is such a part of his life. Uh, Mario Andretti, how he spent, you know, six or seven years in a refugee camp, uh, which was fascinating to me. I never knew that. You know, Davis Love, who said, you know, if his dad hadn't have been a golfer, he'd have been a professional fisherman. And this girl said, what are you gonna, where are you gonna go to college? I said, I'm gonna go to North Carolina and then I'm gonna play on the PGA Tour. And they, you are not. <laughs> You're not gonna play on the PGA Tour. So it's, it's, a, it's a cool entree into uh, their lives. Kyle, this is great. Uh, we'll be watching, man. You know all the triad are fans of you guys, so thanks for taking time with us today. All right, so I asked you about your favorite triad diner, because in some of these cases they were going to uh, diner-style eateries. We have a lot of those around the area, so here's what you had to say today. Jaffa said, Plaza Cafe can't beat the three egg omelets there. David said Randy's restaurant in Lexington, great food and good service. Janice said Carolina's diner at Quaker Village. I have to go there because a lot of people were talking about this and I'm not familiar. She said great food, staff is always smiling, that's good. Monty said we just ate this morning at Sunrise Diner in Thomasville, great food. Then Scott said, and I just went to this place a couple weeks ago, the Sage Mule on Battleground in Greensboro has absolutely the best breakfast around and very good vibes. And our own Julie Luck, I had to post this this one because she said I miss Smith Street Diner and so do I. That was oh, that probably so my good. favorite diner and the biscuits were about that big. Mm -hmm. They were incredible. That sounds amazing. Yeah, it was really good. I have to say Carolina Diner is really, really good. I, I like it. It's not too far from where I live, so we've been there. Um, but I love scrambled. Oh See, yes. Scrambled. Everyone keeps saying that, but the so wait good. is so long. So worth so it. I haven't been able to go it. yet, but I've seen the pictures on Instagram and Facebook. And that it's big worth skillet it. when yes, they bring the it out French to your, toast, oh it gosh. looked amazing. I love I'm breakfast. I'm gonna have to go this Me too, I could eat breakfast all day. Well, I cook it for dinner all the time. So do we, it's mm -hmm. so good. So favorite breakfast food then, what do you like? I like omelets, that's Ooh. like. That's a tough one. Waffles. Um, oh I would, really? I would have to say French toast, but I do love a nice breakfast sandwich though. I yeah. do too. Mm -hmm. I make those at home. I'll do an over easy egg with cheese on a bagel mm -hmm. and then toast the that bagel. That good. is so good. I really like any kind of like Mexican themed oh, breakfast. Oh, like, like chorizo and like yeah, an omelet or something. Yeah, I like that yeah, kind that's of stuff really too. Good. Or the breakfast Ooh. burritos. I'm just making myself even more hungry. We you know, always end up talking about just, food <laughs> on the Fort of Fun. What I was about to say is we could talk about tires that are on sale and we'll end up back. talking about, about uh, food. You know, that one time I was on my way to the tire <laughs> shop <laughs> and I, I passed by a Taco Bell. Yeah. And I got a bagel. Let's talk about that. Shall we? <laughs> that is what we do.